Hey folks, it's Patriot Nurse. I want to tell you guys something that I just found out and it regards a Young Living product. This is their rose ointment. And I didn't know this. Um, however, I found out in short order that Young Living uses in their formulary, the number one ingredient is mink oil. Now, let me tell you about mink oil for those of you who don't know. Mink oil doesn't grow on mink trees. Uh, mink oil is rendered from the fat of minks who live their entire lives in cages and who are gassed and slaughtered for their fur, okay? Um, for those of you who know me, I am not a, a crazed animal rights activist and picketing and protesting, and that's not my shtick. That's not who I am. But what I have is a serious problem because I am a Young Living member, and I've been really shocked um, because Young Living makes their entire brand identity on being natural and God-given and derived of the ingredients of the highest quality and this, that, and the other. And I've had some issues lately, for instance, with their mouthwash, having potassium sorbate and other preservatives in there, really starting to question whether or not they're actually delivering on these promises that they take, the Young Living promise. Well, let me tell you this, okay? Um, having a high quality ingredient shouldn't mean the deaths of a whole bunch of little creatures. You can't say on one hand that your company is all about like natural God-given oils to help people's health and then turn around and support the needless slaughter and mistreatment of these creatures that God made. So <laughs> you can't, it's illogical to try and do this. Now, what I'm advocating for in this video is for those of you who are Young Living members to call them and let them know because the little interaction that I just had with them, they tried to peddle me some party line BS. I'll read it to you. I made sure and, and contacted the live help because you want to make sure that you got all of your little documentation in a row here. There, uh, when I brought up to them, I said, mink oil is from the rendered fat of animals kept in cages their entire lives to be slaughtered for their fur. I don't think I need product support to, uh, to tell me because he's like, oh, you can contact product support. I'm like, no, I don't need to. Um, I said, it's inexcusable. The response that I got back here from a Richard is, is we can appreciate your concerns and have done additional research for you. Oh, really? Thanks, because I'm just so slow that I don't know how mink oil is made. Mink oil is commonly sourced from minks that are farm raised for their fur. Humane euthanasia techniques. Have you seen these humane euthanasia techniques? They're not so humane. I'm going to include links to videos and to exactly what their situation is. Um, humane euthanasia techniques practiced on fur farms are those recommended by the American Veterinary Medical Association of the United States and the Guelph University Research Facility in Canada. The only method of euthanasia for mink certified by the blah, 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 blah is pure carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide bottle gas. They're immediately rendered unconscious. No, <laughs> no, uh, without stress or pain. Okay, so let's take for a moment out of the equation the death of the animal and look at the life of the animal. These creatures live their entire lives in essentially what you and I would have to live in in a bathroom. And that is their existence. And then they die. It is atrocious. And you're going to tell me, Young Living, that you're sitting there providing your, your seed to seal promise. Okay, are you providing your cage to death promise then? Like, come on, let's be a little bit real here. Don't sit there and try and peddle people this whole natural goodness thing when the main ingredient in at least two of your products here is the rendered fat of these animals who have lived their lives in complete suffering and misery. Let's be real.